Last week we talked about manifesting, visualization, and the law of attraction. And today we're going to put that all together and make a vision board. So if you'd like to learn how to make a vision board, keep watching. <music> representation of your goals and dreams. It's important that we have a visual representation of this. It is a well-known fact that you are 42% more likely to reach your dreams and goals if you write them down. So that's where a vision board comes in. It is also important to have pictures or images associated with those goals and dreams because images stimulate your emotions and your emotions are the vibrations that you send out into the universe which activate the law of attraction which we spoke about last week. So how do we start? Well, I think the first thing you need to know is what are your goals and dreams? You need a clear cut vision of what it is you really want. And I think that's why sometimes we don't manifest those. We have conflicting dreams and goals. We don't know how to get where we want to go. And it's not clear. And if it's not clear for us, then we're sending mixed vibes into the universe and it's not going to provide for you. So one of the things you need first is a list of your goals and dreams, and then we can turn that into a visual representation. Once you get that list, you need to cut out photos, images, they can be from magazines, they can be printouts, they can be pictures, and some positive words to go along with it. Some of the things that I want to manifest into my life are I want to be a stand-up comic, I want to bring love into my life, I want to travel more, I want to continue to have a good relationship with my son, and there are some more. So what did I do? Well, one of the big things I want to do is I want to go back to Southern California. I lived there for three months in 2003. July 10th, 2003 was a very momentous day for me. It was the day I fell in love very deeply with the state of California. So on my vision board, along with this that says State of California, I'm going to have some pictures of my, some of my favorite places in California, which are Corona Del Mar, um, Little Corona, and Newport Beach. They're mixed in there. And they will all be on my vision board in a moment. And then in addition to that, one of the things I think we fall short of is we just put these pictures up there and we have these dreams and it's not really with intention, it's not really with a plan. So one of the other things that I think are important that a lot of other vision board creators don't put on their vision boards is what are you going to do to get that goal? It's not, like I said last week, it's not just about wishing and it's falling out of the sky. It's about putting yourself in a position to reach those goals. I want you to think to Facebook, and you know how Facebook has those uh, memories that they show you every day, like what happened three years ago or ha what happened four years ago. And if you look back and you see a statement that you made, like I can't wait to go to this place or I'm looking for love or I'm looking for this perfect job, and you see that the date on that was five years ago and you look and did you achieve that goal? Did you find that love? Did you make that change in your life? I bet you more than half of you will find that you didn't make that change because putting it in a Facebook status, you're not gonna see that daily, so you're not gonna hold yourself accountable. So I think it's important to hold yourself accountable. And every day, everything you do should be moving you one step closer along the path to that goal. If you're standing still, you're really just going backwards. Remember, being in your comfort zone, it's deadly. Nothing will kill you quicker than complacency. So the first thing I did was I collected categories and I printed them on Photoshop. But if you don't have Photoshop, you could just jot these down on paper with crayons or markers or even a pen. It doesn't have to be pretty, but the more visually interesting you can make it and yet keep it simple, the more likely it is to stimulate you get your emotions going and have you send those vibrations into the universe. So I collected, you know, Southern California, good continued relationship with my son, 
health and longevity. I want my YouTube show to be successful. I want to continue to have good friends and make new good friends. I want to manifest love into my life and I want to travel. Once I got those categories ready, I went and got some pictures. Now, I didn't get pictures for every category. I'm going to have to get some pictures of the type of person I want to manifest in my life and some things about health. I collected three images of beautiful Southern California because that's one of my big goals is to at least visit there in the next year and move there in the next two. So, big goal for me. Been trying to do it for 16 years, but I had other applications and now I'm pretty free, so I'm free to go. The next thing is that I cut out a picture of me and my son when he was a teenager. Um, he's my, he's, him and I are really good friends and I want to continue that. So I needed to include that on my vision board. Oh, and comedy, I forgot to do that because that's a big one for me. So for comedy, I have a photo of me that I photoshopped standing in front of the Funny Bones brick wall because it is my goal to do a stand-up set, a five-minute stand-up set uh, before the end of the year, so I'm working towards that goal. Another one for travel, I put two of the places I really want to go, Greece and Italy. I also want to go on a cruise, but I didn't take that picture. For each category, Something that other vision board creators don't do. I wrote a list of the steps of how I was going to achieve those. So I'm gonna glue this down for you and then I will show you the whole thing. So armed with a glue stick, pictures, headings, inspirational words, uh, and, and the actions I'm gonna take written below, I put together my vision board and here it is. I don't know if you can see that, um, I used part of a poster board. I could have definitely gone with a bigger board. Um, and I put headings. And so just to give you a little idea of how to hold yourself accountable, remember you want to put a definite time frame or at least an idea of a time frame for these goals because it's so easy to get up and say someday and then someday never happens. Trust me, I know. But I try to put time frames to these goals. So for example, under stand-up comedy, right? What did I put for stand-up comedy? I put, what am I going to do to accomplish this goal? I'm going to journal at least three times a week. I'm going to write weekly. I'm going to study comics like I already do, and I do that almost every night. I'm going to network, and I am going to get myself to do an open mic by the end of the year. Now I have to hold myself accountable to that goal. Just saying I'm going to do it someday or as soon as possible. Well, as soon as possible is a very open-ended statement. As soon as possible to me could be tomorrow, to you could be six weeks from now. So put a definite time frame on it. So for California, I put to visit in the upcoming year and search for places to live. I didn't put a definitive time that I wanted to move there because some other things have to fall into places. But in my mind, I would like to move there two years from now. For a successful YouTube show, what did I put? I put continue to produce two shows a week, which I'm doing, and to continue to market the show on Facebook and Instagram and other places. Those are goals that I can hold myself accountable to. And so far since June 10th, since I started the show, I have kept my word on that one. For a relationship with my son, to keep it a good relationship, what did I put for that? I put to continue to be supportive, to be a good friend, to message daily and speak weekly, and to share our common interests. Luckily, he's a filmmaker and graphic artist as well, and we have a lot in common, so we build on that. For health and longevity. How am I going to do that? You can't just say, I want to be healthy, I want to lose weight, and then sit on your couch. I have here for health and longevity, right here in the corner, to continue intermittent fasting. I just reached my one year anniversary of not skipping one day of fasting. To continue not eating sugar, I have just passed my one year anniversary of not eating any desserts or added sugar. To walk three to five times a week, I still do that. Sometimes I struggle with that one. 
um, to continue my vegetarian lifestyle. It's been six years and I'm still doing that and I have no plans to change it. To try to get a maximum of seven to eight hours sleep, it's a struggle working on that one. And to keep, to keep out negativity and be mindful. And that's something that I'm really doing well on. I try to meditate daily. For travel, someone told me what a big one for this one is. Get a passport because you cannot travel without one. So without a passport, I don't even have travel really there in my mind. So getting a passport uh, within the next few months, I will do that. And also to save a certain amount, to, and I don't wanna put that amount down on Facebook, but to save a certain amount per month for travel. Those are two things. The saving a month for travel is quantifiable. These are definite statements to hold myself accountable. To have, maintain, and meet good friends, I have down there to go out with friends a minimum of once a month. I know sometimes that gets difficult. Most times I do it more than once a month. I try to go out weekly, but I don't want to hold myself accountable for weekly, so I put monthly. And finally, to manifest some love in my life. That's been hard because I have a specific type of person in mind with a specific way of having a relationship in mind and that's been difficult. I'm looking for that middle of the road. Someone that doesn't smother me yet isn't unavailable for weeks at a time. So what did I put for good for love? I put that I'm going to find someone extroverted and creative that I want someone with integrity. I want someone who will touch base a minimum of every other day and one to two phone calls a week. And I want date nights, one to two nights a week. So what do I do to achieve that? I need to go places where that type of person frequents. If I want to meet somebody extroverted with a zest for life, I don't think I'm going to go to a mathematics convention. So you have to put yourself out there. You have to put yourself in line with these things that you're looking for, or they're not going to come to you. And you have to focus on them. So how does the vision board work? Well, if you have a big vision board for just your career, you might want to have that separate and keep that in your home office or at your work office. Um, I kind of just put all mine together because all of my goals kind of surround the whole idea of a zest for life and being creative. So they're not really separate because even my work life is focused on the arts. So um, that's my vision board. I could definitely have made a bigger one just for love or a bigger one just for my son or comedy, but I chose to put them together because this will serve me. So what do you do with it? Well. You look at it every morning when you wake up. You look at the visual representations of your dreams and you focus on those and you put your intentions into the universe and you take steps every day to do that. You hold yourself accountable. And then at the end of the night, very important to look at this again because what we think of the last five minutes before we go to bed is what the next eight hours of our subconscious is focused on. So if you go to bed thinking of all your worries and all your problems and all the things you lack in your life, then you will bring more lack into your life. You want to focus on these wonderful things that you want to manifest into your life. And when you do that and you keep doing this daily and you do the work that goes along with it, you'd be surprised on what you manifest. I have started to manifest a lot of these things in my life. In fact, last night at 9.30, I got an email from a job I applied for asking me to send my demo directing reel in. And this morning they called and offered me the job to teach a theater acting class to grade school children for six weeks. Manifesting works. So I hope you put together your vision board and I really wish you all the best in achieving all your goals and dreams. Right now, take a look at where I found some joy last week. Hi everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, I chose to have some fun at Soapstone Mountain in Summers, Connecticut.
And if this video helped you in any way, like, share, subscribe, comment below. I hope you have a wonderful week and join me.